Good day, my good tenor. Let's talk about amps. Yep. And specifically the Meta Amps and Operator Arcanes in Warframe. A quick disclaimer, this is not a full start to finish guide. This is just a mid to late game Meta Amp guide and Arcane guide. I will be doing a full from start to finish everything you need to know about amps in the future. Also, another thing, there will be slight new war spoilers in this video and also the war within. So if you are super early into the game and you don't want any spoilers at all, then I would suggest you clicking off this video. Otherwise, if you don't care, then carry on and watch the video. Video. Now let's get into it. There are two main amps that everyone uses in Warframe. The first one being the 177 and the second one being the 777. Now before I go into where you get all the parts and so on, let's just take a step back and go over the numbers I just mentioned because I know that there are probably some of you that are like, huh? Amps have been put into a table, which is commonly used in Warframe's community and is ranked accordingly. It is ranked from the components that you get first to the components that you get lost, i.e. the 777, being the last parts unlocked. As you can see, the first four columns are from Cetus and the last three are from Fortuna. So use this whenever you are looking at making an amp in Warframe, it is your best friend. For example, the 177 being the Raplak Prism, Certus Brace and the Propa Scaffold, and the 777 being the Kamora Prism, the Certus Brace and the Propa Scaffold. It's a really great reference that the community has done to make it easier to understand and see everything laid out for you. Great, now that's out of the way, let's go over where to get the part. You get the Raplak Prism from Onko in the very beginning, which is nice and easy to obtain, but the painful one is the 77s, which are the Certus Brace, the Propa Scaffold and the Kamora Prism. Now these are obtained from level 4 from Little Duck, which is a huge grind in itself, my good tenor. I wish you all the best. But it is worth it, 100%, because amps are a very vital part of Warframe for certain late game activities. Like... Great, for now all these parts, you're going to need toroids for the 7.7s, which I have already made a guide on, on how to farm those. I will put it up in the cards in the top right of the video. You can go and check that out in your own time. Moving on to the arcanes, let's talk about operator arcanes first. Now, I usually like to preach in Warframe that it is your own game. You can play the game how you want, but just for this one time, I would suggest trusting me a little bit. Here are the two arcanes that I would highly suggest getting. Number one is Magus Lockdown. What does Magus Lockdown do? On Void Sling, you drop a mine that tethers up to 10 enemies in a 15 meter radius for 4 seconds. This is hands down one of the main things that saves me in Warframe on the daily, and one of the best crowd control mechanics in Warframe. There is one other option which works quite well, which is called Magus Anomaly. Now what this one does is every time you transfer from Operator to Warframe, you pull enemies towards you in a 30 meter radius at max rank. This is a great Operator Arcane for certain and synergies and for testing as well if you like to test in the simulacrum. Moving on to the next operator arcane which is Magus Repair. In all honesty this has saved me so many times in Warframe I cannot tell you how many times this has saved me and also teammates as well. On void mode you heal Warframes within a 30 meter radius by 25% health per second. Per second. It is very strong. This is a great oh shit arcane for when you're in your everyday purges in the Warframe universe and when you're about to die, just hop into your operator and in three to four, five seconds, you are max HP, literally. These are acquired from Little Duck, but level five instead, and they are super important to get. I would say go and buy them on the market, but they're actually quite expensive. Otherwise you can, if you're willing to spend hundred platinum at max rank, that is of course the prices on PC. I did say trust me on this one, but of course, if you have something else that works or you want to use an alternative in the meantime then of course by all means choose what you want and work towards these arcanes. I know that some people run Magus Elevate but I prefer the consistency of Magus Repair. It is a lot better in my opinion. Now let's move on to the Amp Arcanes. You want two which are Eternal Onslaught and Eternal Radicate. These are the meta arcanes by far. You don't want anything else really. You get these arcanes from the Zaramon Thrax units or just by buying them from Cavalera in the Chrysalis. They require rank one and rank two for each of them. For Eternal Radicate, you need rank one and then Eternal Onslaught, you need rank two. Now Eternal Onslaught gives you 180% critical chance for eight seconds on energy depletion. So a good way to use this is to spam your operator abilities until you're out of energy energy to gain this buff. Eternal Eradicate is on operator ability, amp damage is increased by 80%. So these two are the best amp arcanes to get hands down. Now, if you're wondering why you don't have the second amp arcane unlocked, it is because you need to get an amp arcane adapter from the Zaramon as well from Cavalera at rank five. So there's more grinding for you. Yay. 
We, we love grinding. Now, the best game mode to grind for those arcanes will definitely be Void Cascade Steel Path if you so choose to grind these arcanes instead of buying them. All right, for conclusion, you want the 177 or the 777. Realistically, the 177 does pretty much everything but you can actually just do any combination with the Certus Brace and the Proper Scaffold if you really want to. But for Eidolon, Thraxes, and everything amp related, the 177 and the 777 is king. I know I keep repeating myself all these numbers, I'm sorry, but it's no other way to say them. The 777 lacks in range compared to the 177, so that's my conclusion. So that is why people mainly go over the 177, and the 177 does more flat damage as well. Have fun grinding because it is a lot. But this is worth your time. Trust me, my good tenor. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10k subs. Thank you all so much for the support recently. And I'll see you all in the next one.